welcome to the IBM Cocos Analytics Coffee Shop demos. In this series of videos, we are going to be analyzing the performance of a fictitious chain of coffee shops by stepping into the shoes of key sales and marketing personnel. In this video, I am going to take on the persona of a product marketing manager using IBM Cocos Analytics dashboards to reduce spoilage, check sales following a promotion, and plan a forecast using IBM Planning Analytics. As product marketing manager, I need to ensure we are selling the right range of products to meet our environmental targets for this year. We have a new range of pastry items, so I want to see how those are doing. We are also aiming to be as eco-friendly as possible this year, so we are hoping to reduce spoilage wherever we can. I will start off by looking at my product performance dashboard. From our product performance dashboard and our custom Saki diagram, can see that coffee and tea make the highest proportion of our sales, as I would expect. And interacting with my product sales chart, I can see that we sold almost 21,000 pounds of coffee this week with lattes and cappuccinos doing particularly well. They are always our most popular drinks. In tea, we sold almost 15,000 pounds with a fairly even spread of product performance, as I would expect. I can also see that bakery items are now making up a reasonable proportion of our sales too. This is great news. Chocolate croissants look to be the most popular bakery item so far, and from personal experience, I can completely see why. In the top right of my dashboard, I can see the product spoilage for our pasty range this week. This looks like less good news. Ginger scones are being continuously wasted. Let's see if this seems likely to continue. Using Cognos' built-in time series forecasting, I can quickly generate a sophisticated forecast on the fly. Before toggling on my forecast button, I can see a number of options, such as forecast periods. If it's left to auto, Cognos will automatically forecast a number of periods ahead, 20% of the length of the data in the chart for me. For example, with 10 days of data, it will produce the forecast for the next two days. I can also choose to ignore some periods starting from the latest date in my data. For example, if the data is incomplete at the end of a time series. I can choose the confidence interval, which is set to 95% by default. And I can also set the seasonality, such as holiday periods, or allow Cognos to automatically detect this for me. So after I enable my forecasting, Cognos will then select from nine different forecasting model types to generate a sophisticated independent forecast for each of the products on my chart. From the points on my forecast, I can view the forecasted value and see the confidence upper and lower bounds. It looks like ginger scones are likely to continue their highly spoilage rate. We have already put in some big orders from our supplier. So to make sure we waste as little as possible, I am going to plan a promotion to try and increase ginger scone sales. I am thinking to bundle them with a the coffee to see if that improves performance. To help me select a coffee for the promotion, I use my trim up from the bottom right. Selecting coffee, I can drill down my navigation path to the next level in the product hierarchy. Barista espressos are popular. Maybe they would be a good choice for the promotion. I want to see more detailed sales information from the barista espressos before I make my choice. So, let's drill to our product sales dashboard. The parameters from the trim up have been passed through as we can see in the filter bar at the top of the dashboard. In my cross tab on the left, I can immediately see that the Barista Espressos have performed particularly well in London and in Oxford. And I can hide the column for Manchester. They performed well there too. Now, I need to choose which Barista Espresso to promote. Let's have a look at the waterfall chart on the right. Toggling on my insights, I can quickly see that the Oro Brasileiro shot is the least well performing in this category. I will add that to my promotion. Now, 
After much anticipation, let's run forward a week to see how our promotion did. From my promotion results dashboard, straight away, the color KPIs on the bottom left show great results. In the previous week, spoilage expense was greater than our target. But in the promotion week, it was below the target, exactly as what we were hoping for. My line graph at the bottom right also shows consistent low spoilage for this week, below the average spoilage rate for the time period. At the top left, my dashboard, I can see that the sales for both the espresso shot and the ginger scone were higher than the promotion week from the previous week. Looking at the day-to-day -day sales on the right, I can also see that sales for both the products seem to be fairly improving. Cognos, as of the first half of 2020, is the only analytics vendor which allows you to do an on-the-fly time series forecasting on the bar chart as well as on the line chart. So, I locate my forecast icon on the top right and quickly toggle my forecast on again. It looks like sales are going to stay high. This is a great result. Now, let's plan sales for May based on our April numbers and add some growth. There are several capabilities in the IBM Analytics portfolio, including IBM Planning Analytics powered by TM1. This is an integrated business planning solution to fully support organizations with their collaborative planning, budgeting, and forecasting requirements. Some of the many capabilities include data input and collection techniques, intuitive template-driven interfaces working with the browser and with Excel, user activity reporting, commentary across aggregations of data, workflow, dashboarding, and analysis. Today, I am going to look at an example of planning analytics being used as a real-time data source in Cocos Analytics as we plan for our main numbers. To allow me to plan for May using planning analytics, I have connected this dashboard tab to my planning analytics cube. In my dashboard tab, I can see the numbers feeding through from the cube. On the left-hand side, I can see my actual quantity sold for April. And below, I can see it split up by store. On the right-hand side, I can see my forecast values. For now, this is just from April 2. Now, let's move to my planning analytics workspace. Here, I can plan across all the dimensions of our business from product to actual or forecast based on different metrics. So, if I focus on product totals, forecast, and quantity, I can see that in April we sold 88,435 for a total revenue amount of 1.4 million. At the bottom of my workspace, I can see the volume by city for April. I notice that Luton is blank. This is fine as Luton is our warehouse location rather than a store. Now, I will go ahead and create our May forecast. First, I will add the proportion of sales I would expect for each city. London, I would expect it to be 40%. Luton, 0 again. Manchester, 25. 15 for Oxford, and 10 for Sheffield and Stratford-upon-Avon, respectively. To start, I set the total forecast value to be similar to April, 88,000. Straight away, I can see a new column taking shape with the actual volume for May. I would love to see an increase from April to May, but first, I would like to hold the proportion of one of my stores, Sheffield. Now, when I change the total value, Sheffield will not change. Let's increase the total and see how we look across the stores. I added a 3% increase.
I am satisfied of my forecast for May, so now let's get back to our Cognos dashboard. As the widgets refresh, I can immediately see my new forecast values for May in the forecast, as well as in the forecast by city. To keep my Cognos charts in synchronization with my Planning Analytics Cube, I can set my charts to automatically refresh with intervals starting from as little as 5 seconds. In summary, our Product Marketing Manager has used IBM Cognos Analytics to get the answers they need, tracking sales and spoilage for the new pasty range, choosing products for promotions and assessing the promotion results, and planning for the future using IBM Planning Analytics. So that brings me to the end of this short demo. For further information on IBM Cognos Analytics, go to ibm.com Cognos or visit the Cognos Analytics community.